Hey everybody, um, just wanted to do a quick video about basically dropping the motor. Uh, full disclosure, this is a bit of wheel. I've had it since November and have been riding at least a couple hundred miles on it already. Um, for the most part, uh, there are a few changes I know from this to the production, uh, particularly in the handles. Uh, to make the top cover easier, they just decided to be able to attach this top part here. So, uh, that's not the case for me, so I had to remove the whole thing. Uh, the top cover is basically held on by four screws on each side, and then four screws on this, the top here, and basically at that point, you can just pull it off. Um, there are a few connectors, connectors to the headlight, which are here, connections to the motherboard, and a connection to the tail light itself. After that, it just basically comes right out. Um, the tools you're going to need are basically a 3mm and a 4mm Allen key, and that's basically what uh, will hold on the screws and bolts for the top cover. Um, the other thing that you guys will have for production wheel is that orange tool that you guys get in the kit. I instead got this tiny little thing. Um, so this is basically used to adjust and remove the dampening shock. Um, I can't tell if you guys can see it, but basically the dampening shock here, um, I don't know what this bit is called, but basically I can use that to basically unscrew that. Uh, the orange tool is going to be a lot easier for you guys, but basically get some you know, torque against to, to, to wrench it out. So in this case, I actually have to use my, this is a three mil, to basically loosen it up. Then from there, I can take that part out. And same thing with the, the other side as well. So it's this bit here that you guys are gonna be looking for. Um, the other thing, obviously would be the air shock side, which is also a three millimeter bolt that's basically holding it at the very top of this assembly. So there's the second one for the dampening side. And then just the air shock side, just a regular Allen bolt or hex bolt. One on the air shock side, and the other air shock. And the other thing, oh yeah, you guys are gonna need a Phillips head as well. Um, that's basically to, to remove the holder here for the cables. Let me grab that real quick. Sorry, uh, I don't have a better view. I don't have a cameraman or anybody else to help me right now. Yeah. And then basically four millimeters Allen key to remove the phase wires from the controller. see so far. Okay, disconnect the hull sensors. There's two of them. You guys are going to have, I think, different ones. I think yours is, has one orange and one white. I just have two white. Basically, free the cables out. Make sure everything is clear and basically lift the whole assembly out. 